Oh, he's pretty sweet. Yes! <laughs> ah, you know when it feels good, it just feels good. Sicko! Resisted the urge to lift my rod and everything. A silvery, silvery rainbow. Nice! On the board for the swing. Ah, it's cool. What a good one. What a nice fish. Beautifully hooked. Barbless, straight out. Buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. That's a cool way to start the day. On the swing-a-ding-ding. -ding. That's the first fish I've managed to swing up this winter. Granted, I only gave it a go yesterday for the first time. I'm down here with my buddy Nick, and my buddy Neil. We messed around a bit yesterday, but it was a real casual affair because there may or may not have been some excessive whiskey drinking the night before. Who's to say? But anyway, we had a mess around, caught fish on a nymph. Stick him away. Yeah. Nice little fish, isn't he? She. She. Oh, that's it. Good work, team. Good work. Good advice. Beauty. Drop it down a bit. That's it. Cool. You can go whenever you want. Beautiful fish. Work it. See you, boat. That was about it, it was a bit tough, but back here today at a more reasonable hour, my plan or my mission was to catch a fish on the swing, which I've just managed to do, so I'm stoked about that. And um, now we'll just poke around, have a bit of fun, a bit of banter, try and catch a couple more. That was a really cool fish. Typical taupe or winter run fish. Fresh, silver, bullet-like, full of eggs, wicked condition. That's awesome. That's, uh, that's what we came out for. So let's... Let's try catch another one. Nice. Cool. Jumpy, jumpy McJumpsters, yeah. That's a nice fish. Yeah, boy. There's a phantom fish. Someone's rig. Perfect. That's, that's what I've done. Caught somebody's rig, like an entire leader, and a 101. No shit! My, this is my client's rig from the other, the other day. This is me getting excited. I, Eric, if you're watching this, you'll know exactly where I am because this is that rig that that fish bust you off on. You lost everything with your leader, your flies, everything. And I just caught it off the bottom about a week later. So there you go, people. Barbless hooks. That's why you crush your barbs. If these had barbs in them, that fish would still, no doubt, be carrying this around behind it. So what more proof do you need? Crush your barbs. Crush them.
then. Got it. Sweet. Color that rainbow. No, 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 this is not a good place to be. I'm kind of getting Nick to help me here. So I can't go down there. Sweet! Schneider and I, phew, I was worried that was going to get out of control there. Yeah, I lost three fish before. No, no. Oh. Ah, oh, oh. oh. Three for three. Schneider and I engaged. I finally saw that guy at the tail of that run in just a couple of, well, actually, first good drift, he ate it. So that was cool. Luckily, Nick was here because I ended up going all the way down there. And I couldn't go around the corner, so uh, yeah, I would have been in a bit of trouble if Nick hadn't been here. Uh, ate the UV flashback pheasant tail. Naturals all day, son. Uh, okay, so I said earlier I'd run you through what gear I was using uh, for when I'm limping. So I've got a 5 weight Helios 3D for distance, so just a much faster action rod than the F, but really good for this kind of fishing. So what I've done is I've got the Mirage LT here with uh, a six weight Infinity Smooth fly line on there. So yeah, I've, you did hear that right. Five weight rod, six weight line. So I've overloaded it by one because it's such a fast action and I'm throwing bigger rigs, heavier nymphs, split shot indicators, longer leaders, that kind of stuff. Overloading it by one line weight just helps load the rod and then just get that thing to really work for you, really. It just, just makes life a lot, lot easier. So it's something to think about doing uh, this time of year, especially for this kind of fishing. Probably not dry droppery, not really a great rod for that, but for this kind of stuff, you know, ugly rigs, pig rigs, weight, that kind of stuff, this is, this is really, really comes into its own. I don't have a poly leader for the simple fact that I'm nymphing and I want my flies down real quick, so I've built my own uh, straight through 3X pretty much leader. If you haven't seen or you don't know how I do that, I'll leave a link up here and you can go check it out. And then I've just got that down to uh, some 4X. A 101, there's a split shot on there just because I needed to get that fly down real quick to that fish. Uh, and then about 18 inches of 4X to a size 14. Yeah, size 14 UV flashback pheasant tail from Cat 3. Pretty standard for this time of year. And uh, that's probably what I'm going to run for the majority of winter when I'm not swinging flies. All right, Nick's having a bite to eat. He's going to re-rig and then fish the rest of that piece of water. Hopefully he can pick up one more fish. And then we'll uh, probably relocate. Alright, that was pretty cool. So that was uh, again pretty much first good drift and nobbled it. Got it done. Nice fishing. Good times. Yes! Yeah. 
Yeah, boy. Beauty. Take me back in because we had some, uh, let's just say, some technical issues. Oh, that was a good hit. That shot upstream, that was a cool, aggressive eat, that was. No, 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 That was such a such an aggressive take. It was one of those ones where the indicator just went down and then poof, upstream at like an 80 mile an hour. Dark but coloured up jack, hips of attitude, big shoulders. I like him. I like that fish. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for another week. I just lost a fish which I don't think was legitimate. I think that was potentially a foul hooked fish the way it felt. Anyway, popped off, got my flies back, so all good. After a day of struggle yesterday and a fairly tough morning, we kind of found our feet, got going, hit some fish through the middle of the day there, and uh, yeah, it turned into a good day. So yeah, it's still, we need the rain. We need rain to get things going here, and everything's still super low. And when we do get the rain, it, it doesn't do enough to the rivers to really kickstart those those spawning runs so fingers crossed we get someone in the next week or two then things should start firing up nick is out there trying to get one last one last fish i'm pretty much done for the day i'm happy good to see you first of the winter kind of fishing videos so there'll be a fair bit more of this to come over the next couple months give me a thumbs up drop me a comment all that good stuff and if you haven't subscribed boop, hit the button join the team help me grow the channel awesome all right guys have a great week i'll see you on the next one